Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's look is inspired by my recent trip to Paris. I was so inspired by all of the beautiful street fashion, hair, and makeup that today's look is based off of a completely different type of look than I normally do. The skin is going to be really natural, understated, and we're just gonna do one focus on the eye. This is what I noticed. There's one focus sort of in French makeup, so it'll be the earrings and the eyes. So if you wanna see a little something different than I normally do, then keep watching. All right, to begin with my skin, I'm using the Kevin Aquan Celestial Skin Lighting Liquid. This is just gonna make my skin look really glowy and radiant underneath my foundation. On my skin, I'm using the Skin Tint from Glossier, which is just like a tinted moisturizer. It just gives a wash of color without adding too much product to the face. So it's gonna look really natural on the skin and mimic your skin's natural texture. For concealer, I'm using Glossier Stretch Concealer, and this is going to add light to medium coverage under the eyes and anywhere I have redness, which is just going to further brighten my complexion without it looking like I'm wearing too much makeup. On the brows, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo, and this is just going to look the most natural over a pomade or a pencil, and so I'm just adding powder gradually just to make my brows look a little bit fuller and more in shape. I always like to brush through my brows with a spoolie to further disperse the color. To top off my brows, I'm using the Glossier Boy Brow Gel, which is just going to hold it in place and sort of move the hairs around to make it look a little bit more chic and natural. For my cheeks, I'm using the Glossier Cloud Paint, and this is gonna look a little neon at first, but once it's blended in, it really looks like a wash of your natural color. So it really just looks like a flush on the cheeks and very, very soft and natural and kind of gives a very radiant boost to your complexion. Next, I'm using the Glossier Halo Scope in the color Quartz, and I'm gonna pop that onto the highlights of my face. I like to put a nice, nice amount on my cheekbones just to make them pop. I like to put it down my nose, on the forehead, on the chin and the cupid's bow just so when I'm looking around my face has a lot of radiance and dimension to it it looks like your natural skin just kind of like elevated like you've been out in the Sun getting a little glowy but not sweaty yet you know you're just looking really radiant all right there you can see my face all nice and glowy and then just to make sure it doesn't look too glowy I'm going to go ahead and put powder on the outer perimeter of my face and the sides of my nose just because there's certain areas that look much better matte and this is going to make the overall look of my skin look much more finished polished without looking too heavy because this powder is very very lightweight. All right, onto the eyes, I'm gonna be using this eyeshadow stick from Nude Sticks, and I'm just gonna put it all over my lid and then blending at the crease with a fluffy brush. And just gonna do that on the other side as well. This is just going to be a base for the pigment that I'm going to be using on the eyes. So the pigment I'm using is from MAC. This is the copper pigment. I'm just gonna pop that right onto the center of the eye and just softly blend it out with the brush. Just make it look really easy, soft. And then I'm just gonna pop on as many coats of mascara as my eyes can possibly take because I love mascara. And this particular mascara is a really, really good one. So this is just gonna make the eyes look super sultry and really flirty without being too much. So I'm just gonna pop on some lip balm just to keep my lips nice and hydrated. Then I'm using a nude lipstick that's really, really natural in the shade Cake from Glossier. It's matte, so then I'm just gonna go back in and add a little bit of a nude gloss just to make it look a little bit more natural and soft. And then I'm gonna take my finger and pat it down so it's not too shiny. The final step of this look is going to be a spritz of the NYX Dewy Skin Mist. This is just going to add one last subtle glow to the look. Alright, this is my finished French Girl makeup tutorial. It's really subtle with an emphasis on some sexy, sultry eyes and the hoop earrings add another element of sultriness. So the hair is just really bedheady and everything else is just really relaxed and understated. I hope you enjoyed this look. It was super fun to do and I'll see you guys on the next one.